Thank God I, I never chop all the money <laughs> within my account. You know, I've never met my dad before. You as a young man, you can't carry your dad on the head. Do you know why? Because he's older? Because his boss will cover your eyes. He will be like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what the f*** do you think you are talking to? What's your business in this matter? Yeah. Don't take paracetamol for somebody else's headache. <laughs> <laughs> we are finally back after a while. Yeah, after, after <laughs> what after. has been happening? Wife, you know the story. Yeah. yeah. Ah. The stress the of, stress buying, of a buying a house. You can even do an episode on it's, that whole thing alone. And it's so funny that um, normally I feel once you have the money, just take, give me documents yeah. and that's it. Man, I was wrong. <laughs> we got, the funniest thing, we got sale agreed on a house somewhere close to where I work. G good house, perfect. Me and my wife were like, yeah, yeah, I remember. Beautiful. And that was back in October. Yeah. Or even before October. And we, we were outside. We bought brand new fridges, you know, everything new. To, mm. You know, since a new house, we want to buy everything. 100%. After six months now, they told us they have no place to go. That they can't sell to us. And, and for anybody who doesn't know, in Ireland, if I'm correct, yeah. when you buy a house, you only have six months mortgage and principal. Is yeah, that correct? No. And you have to renew you it. You have to. And if you renew it, <laughs> oh it's a bigger, bigger Tango, problem. <laughs> let me speak to you. Tango, I, I never chop all the money with them. account. If not, I don't have one chance. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was bad because... After that, after the sales agreed, we've paid our initial deposit of five grand. I was like thinking, oh, this is Nigeria, it's done, it's done. And I was like, you know, asking my wife, what's happening now? When are, we are supposed to be moving in January. Mm. She said, the people said they have no place to go. What do you mean they have no place to go? If you have no place to go, why do you decide to sell your house, you know? Right. No, and it took no, them no. six months to come back to us and tell us that that they have nowhere to go that they don't want to sell anymore and funny enough we've already gotten quick notice from my lawyer i mean from our landlord Sheesh. and we are even bragging with the landlord we have a new house don't worry we're going oh my god thank god we we're not so mean to my landlord <laughs> maybe i'll be sleeping <laughs> In the, you, shed. I'll, I'll, I'll in the shed. I'll let you sleep in the shed. Obviously, in the shed. You must welcome to us. You sleep on the couch in my house. I will never let you sleep in the shed. It was insane, but thank God for everything. Now, um, thank God for everything. That's that. That's that. So, that's why you've not been seeing me, guys. I've been hustling to try and get the place of my own. You know. And we thank God. God and, came yeah, through, yeah, and he finally it. got the place of yeah, his own. That, that's it. That's it. Yeah. So, guys, I'm gonna change things up a little let, bit today. Let, let me ask you a question baby. go have have your dad told you any funny funny idiomatic expression like an expression telling you about life without telling you or it's just it's just using an expression to explain something to you now we're gonna go that's funny thing we're gonna go <laughs> um we're gonna he's gonna say something you know i never really say this out loud you know this is not you know i've never met my dad before oh never Oh, yeah, I think we should say, talk about something else. Uh, but it's but it's just me. Some I don't ever mind not talking about. Like my mom and I, everybody around me, I says on. I don't I don't mind talking about. It's just a how I'm the way I'm gonna put it to you is this. I want to be able to break that chain. I want to be able to break that chain, and I hope that anybody else, everybody else in the future, can break the chain of what seems to be a trend in our older generation of parents of parents where they you know they do certain things in life they leave parents to be single parents and i'm but by, i'm gonna break that trend there's no way i will ever do something <laughs> like that but no it's like my, my mom has told me some yeah, well, funny, yeah funny let's see maybe your mom yeah so what how do you think um, there was someone told me that when you told me yeah. today, my one of my old friends, she said, um, what an old person, what's it again? What, it, what, what an elderly person can, can see, see sitting down. down. You, you cannot <laughs> see. <it when> <laughs> <you> can. <laughs> that one makes me laugh all the time. Let me, let me make, let me, let me make it so funny. He mm. said, you as a young man, you can't carry your dad on the head. 
Do you know why? Because he's older? Because his boss will cover your eyes. He will be like... <laughs> <laughs> you know, so you, you you can't. We we have a lot like that. We have there's one my dad normally. You see, back in those days, when my dad normally says these things, we look at it and say, "Fuck up, George. This old man don't come with him problems. Started <laughs> problem." But it was when we finally lost my dad, and uh, I start growing older, and now start using my tongue to count my teeth, trying to explain some of those things to myself. Mm. Because there was a time. There was a time. You know, I, I was stubborn back then. Mm -hmm. I grew up in Najegule, the slum, you know. I'm the last born out of 10, so I feel that there's always people behind me, you know. Yeah, so I'm always fighting. And there was this day, I was fighting. And everybody was holding me, and I was like, no, 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 no. I'm going to do this, I'm going to yeah. do that. And there was this guy putting on tie, looking with tie, looking smart, holding a Bible in his hand. And the guy came to me and said, it's okay now, what is wrong with you? Everybody has been talking to you. What is wrong with you? And me in our business, I was so hyper, you know. Mm -hmm. I was like, what the fuck do you think you are talking to? What's your business in this matter? Yeah. And I only wanted to deceive the guy with a punch. I'm telling you guys why I have beers. This is the story why I kept. I did not keep these beers because I love beers. I kept it because I'm hiding a big cut on that year. <laughs> I have a cut on that year. I'm telling you how it happened. So I, was, I look at the guy. This one wearing suit with his work shoes. I'm mm. going to fuck this one up. You know, wanted to. We we'll call it booga in pidgin English. Wanted to booga, and I, the moment I throw one punch, the guy just like it. Hey, my it was so fast. <laughs> I don't think it took three seconds, two seconds. All I can just see is a boom. My blow just went like this. <laughs> and my cheek was just out there. And the guy just, just slide on, oh, boom, no, like this. Gas. And I just staggered back. In my heart, I said, I am fucked. Who said me you to go and try this kind of person? Mm -hmm. This one will kill me. But because everybody was, everywhere, I was like, no, no, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. The moment I went back in the shower, Mm -hmm. I just looked blood. Yes. There was a gash here. And I was like, wow. I kept thinking, how can someone be so fast? There's something wrong here. I said, <laughs> I said, no, 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 no. If I see this guy, to, They're gonna beat we're going to fight again. As I'm going, I finish showering, dress up. Me and my friend, we're going. And I just saw a poster by the side of the wall. And I saw this guy, the same guy mm -hmm. with a belt on his shoulder. He was a our council champion in the box. He went to go and fight. He went to go and look for trouble where he should have gone. I was like, oh. When I saw the guy coming like this, I acted like this. That is, I, I, I just... It was so funny. That's why, when people say, why do you keep beers? I said, I don't, I don't want them to do where you come and beat me. Nah. God. So it's crazy. So my dad now called me mm. after that trouble. He said, he said, I noticed that you are very temperamental. You are someone that gets angry easily, mm -hmm. which is not a good thing. Yeah. He said, you get angry easily. But let me tell you something. And I want you to, when I finish telling you, go and sit down and think about it. Mm -hmm. He said, if a fly lights on top of your scrotum, mm -hmm. will you take a hammer and try to beat, it. beat the fly? Or will you take your punch and try to kill the fly? If you try to attack that fly with anger, who is going to suffer? True. It will come back to you. So be careful. Don't always use aggression to solve issues. That's very true. A fly that lands here, you use your brain and just Especially not bam, bam, everything. And that's the kind of person you are. It might get you into trouble. Mm -hmm. And I was, ah, that thing, I thought about it for a very long time. I said, wow. Yeah. I said, that was a really nice way to put it, you know? Mm -hmm. It was nice. So my daddy always comes up with funny, funny stuff like that. And you would just, you would just laugh over it. It's so funny. What was, I say for me, like one story, which I always, which always just rings in my head. And maybe you might understand. So when, mm -hmm. um, I, when I went to, when I went to school here back in, um, when I was, li when I lived in Dublin, okay. um, my, when I went to school, there was no black people. Like I think I was the only black person in my class. So yeah. 
getting bullied and stuff. So obviously, we're getting bullied and um, going home complaining. My mom complained to the school. The school said, oh, we're going to talk to them, blah, 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 blah. So was it one day, um, and my, my auntie just came from Nigeria. And she heard about this, yeah. this story. I think I told the story before, but I've, you you understand yeah. it a bit more. And obviously it happened again. And I came home and I, and I said, my auntie beat the shit out of me. It's you. You collected that. She said, when someone beats you, yeah. you beat them back. Yeah, you can't keep so, running away. Like, I can't. She just kept beating me. And I beat him. And then I, yeah. then she goes, this is how you're beating. You better beat I beat her back. And then she was like, beat me once. And she said, you never hit me again. But if they come and do it to you in school, yeah. Uh-uh. I'm beat them. What did I do, Jerry? The next day they hey. came. I went to take. Wham! <laughs> <laughs> but then they tried to suspend me from school. Yeah, that's where the problem you came. Are, no, because you are physically know, aggressive. Now. They when they came from Nigeria, you know they <laughs> dressed, uh, they just wore wrapper. Wore wrapper. Uh, 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 school. Nah, they don't madness in that school. That like, Jerry. Yeah, that, 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 they went. Mm, like it, you, it's not, it's, you don't know you don't know what it be Nigeria what it be our motto our motto this year you don't know Nigeria motto this year what is it no grief for anybody it's true that's our motto for that's this year true. Nigeria don't but, we know the grief for anybody yeah, it's but isn't that crazy right like now, like back then I was always taught that if someone hit you hit them back but now I'm taught if someone hits you just walk away and leave just them okay, my brother, you know? just walk away now as I'm talking to you mm. if a baby a newborn baby step on my toe bring out a knife from their pampas mm. and say give me your phone you know but i will just say carry yeah i will just i don't have, I, I don't have time it's, <laughs> it's phone <laughs> my life is too valuable oh. for doing the things but actually just funny so yeah. i was on i was looking at a few funny things yes. just funny thing and i said i went on to this thing and i said what is the most terrible method you've used to get revenge on somebody so what have you done that is bad to get revenge on somebody. Some well, people, you see, you see in this life here, yeah. yeah. Some people are very, very crazy. Yeah. So this person said, my ex girlfriend came by my house at two thirty in the morning, and no, sorry, two thirty in the afternoon, drunk and high. Three months after breaking up from with her, she demanded money for my for her bills and rent she paid for. I gave her some igbo <laughs> and a couple of beers. I told her it was all. <laughs> It was all told her. It was all pulled. Sorry, what's this? What happened? I'm sorry. Let me read this again. My ex girlfriend came by my house about two thirty in the afternoon, drunk and high. Three months after breaking up, breaking up and demanding money for her bills and rent she paid, I gave her some some green stuff <laughs> and a couple of beers <laughs> and told her it was all I had. As soon as she left, I called the police saying that saying her car ran me off the road and she was driving erratic she got pulled over down the road <laughs> for reckless driving speeding in the school zone driving under the influence no license no insurance no insurance and possession of control substance jerry some people are evil no that for me I, I think that's too far anyways but it depends you never know what the ex girlfriend did she came to the house asking for money yeah I, I, for bills that she paid three months ago uh, no, but that's too, too but much. But that's definitely America. I'm telling you, the Americans, yeah, I just feel like the the stories that you just hear from them sometimes. Uh, just people, like, people, not just in America, people do crazy things. I've seen people tell girl, girl, boy, telling mm-hmm. girls, take off the weave I bought for you, take off the clothes, take off everything on the street. Yeah. I've seen it not not once, not twice. You know, people do that. I, I just think, do that. I personally think if. Me, maybe it's me. If I bought something for someone's relationship, I would never ask for it back. Like I just the, only, the only revenge I think I've done, which is ex girlfriend too, and uh, and when I started going out with her, like she she was the one that started going out with my friend, mm. someone that I wouldn't say my friend, but someone that we know. Mm-hmm. I well, I carry my kaya. Face front, well, go follow another mm-hmm. one. There, there is this saying my mommy say all the time. My mommy will always say, in a relationship, it goes like circle. You are chasing this one. This one is chasing this one. This one is chasing mm-hmm. this one. Someone is chasing you. Mm-hmm. In as much as you have eyes for other girls, 
some girls have eyes for you. So my mom will always say, instead of chasing that girl that is chasing someone else, why not just stop and hug the one that is chasing you? Mm. You know? So it's better that she loves you more than the way you... No, you, right? you, you understand? Rather than chasing the girl. So I chased... I, I tried begging, begging, begging. She refused. Well, met another girl. Same scenario, the way my mom said, and everything. So now, I don't know what happened with our relationship. With she, she was not trying to beg me. You understand? Let's try to sort things out. This was your ex girlfriend. Yeah, this was my ex girlfriend. <laughs> After she has disgraced her, her papa for years, she disgraced me. I said, okay, no problem. So what I did, I remember, I just said she should come to a bar. And I, I ate like a woman, drank, drank like a woman. I was just eating everything, everything and, and told her I'm coming. Ah, oh, and, uh, uh, and she was <laughs> sitting there and I just went home and sleep and she was calling my phone. <laughs> calling my phone. I did not even bother picking because the next day I knew I was going to another state. I was going to okay. meet my... So call me and the next day, carry my back to another state. <laughs> She was calling me, calling me. Oh, he said, I, don't worry, I've, I've paid the money for the visa. It's not because I say fuck off. Fuck off. You know, but me, I'm, I'm, I don't have that kind of heart. I'm not someone that likes revenge. Yeah, I'm yeah, not yeah. someone. I just, just go, just go. That's me. Yeah. Just go. I just find that. What is yeah. going on here? But they are crazy people. Oh, they're crazy people. Oh, oh there's crazy people. Crazy people. Like, let me tell you, I'll say after this, I used to do something. So I, mine was more petty than crazy, but my sister used to piss me off. So this was um another one. Someone said, last week a girl stole my phone from work. As soon as I saw the camera camera, I knew who she was and I called the police. The police weren't much help because it was only a cell phone. I made a Facebook status about how she stole my cell phone and included her name and her pictures so my friends could help me get it back. Two days after it was stolen, someone sent me a link to her escort profile. So that's like only fan. Yeah, only fan. Yeah, yeah. So I made a profile and had a friend start texting her escort contact number. She agreed to meet a fake guy we had made up on at a local hotel to give him the full service. Yeah. Little did she know I'd be waiting there with two police officers when she arrived. She was arrested and charged with stealing my phone, and I will take her to court. I also plastered her escort profile all over Facebook as well as well as the story of her meeting me at a hotel thinking I was a Jew she was going to come and fuck for money <laughs> take that bitch <laughs> Jerry you know you know some people ah, some people have time no some people have time it, for it, you it know what's scary yeah whether this is a guy it's actually scary that how there's people out there that a something small that like you know obviously stealing, your, stealing someone's phone is big yeah. but like you know, you always see these stories that I know that a very hypothetical situation that someone yeah. might bump into you and they didn't say sorry, and yeah. that person is planning how to kill the person. It it, <laughs> it happens. See, in in the university I went mm. back home in Nigeria, is Ambrosali University, Ekoma. Anybody that <laughs> that is in the university back home in Nigeria will understand what I'm talking about. It's Ekoma, like in. 2007, 2006, mm. 2007, you know? So, and that was when you can bump on someone's shoulder and that might cost you your life. Jeez. You can step on someone's shoes yeah. and that might cost you your life because you don't know the person's shoes you're stepping on. You don't know who that person mm. is because, because men, we call it men, mm. men, where they game, that's in the game. They don't look rugged back in those days. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, they don't look rugged. Is that your everyday normal man that you see normal guy with shirt talk to his trousers and something? And you think that this is a Jew, but you will not know that maybe this is a number one man somewhere. Mm. And you just go and step on his toes. And when you say, ah, you're stepping on my shoes, you might just look at who the fuck do you, who are you can fuck up. And that might cost you your life. Yeah. So the way people take revenge. It can, be, <laughs> it can be very, very, very brutal. It yeah. can be brutal. So one has to be ca careful. You see, you don't even know yourself, let alone knowing someone else. You don't even know what yeah. you are capable of. True, true. Okay. Let alone you want to know what someone else is capable. Of. So my brother, just some people they are dead already on the streets. They they, uh, they are working, but they are dead. Mm. When I mean dead, that is the problem they have on their shoulders. 
has already killed them. Maybe financial problem, maybe relationship problem, mm-hmm. maybe you're fighting for custody of kids. Yeah. You know, maybe depressive problem, maybe suicidal thoughts, yeah. you know, and you just see them and you just bump into them. You don't know what that person is going through. And when, when a man is angry or when a lady is angry, people can go extra miles. So one has to be very, very Especially careful. Especially when a lady, oh, when, oh, when the lady is angry. When a man careful. is angry, you know that what he more like going to try to hurt you. When mm. a lady is angry, where she will emotionally hurt you. Oh, I mean, me, one of my favorite show I watch is um, Crime and Investigation. Mm. If I don't watch Investigative Deleted uh, Discovery Channels, I watch Crime and Investigation. Yeah. I watch um, UK Crime. I watch, I like crime, watching crime. So I've seen the way people do this. You've probably seen this one before. Did you ever see the one, did you ever see that video of the woman that um, they plan to kill the husband? Yeah. She planned to kill the husband because yeah. she wanted the life insurance. Yeah. But um, I think the killers don't kill people that have children. I don't know what it was. They told him basically, the people that tried to kill them basically told them that she wants to kill you for X, Y, and Z. I've watched that one. You know what? You, they, but what the police need to do, they have to set set uh, set her up by doing undercover yeah. policing and stuff like that you know sh- they have to be sure that she hands over the cash hands over once yeah. money change hands that's contract signed contract yeah. signed so i've watched i've watched Is about it, two of that i've watched the one that that <clears throat> the the killer said the guy the lady tried to use to mm-hmm. kill the said i have someone that can do it i can't do it but i have someone that can do it you know, and he introduced her to that person. That person was the one that went to the police and said, this guy is telling me to kill someone for one lady. But I've collected the money, I've eaten the money. You understand? I've collected the money, I've eaten the money. But I just want to tell you, they say it's a lie. So they have to, they have to set the lady up. Mm-hmm. And they staged it, and they staged it in the way that they made it feel like as if, the man is dead. Mm. So they called the lady for work to come home. Something has happened. She came home and saw police. You know, the stage yeah. scene, you know, she was, oh, crying out, a crocodile tears. Oh, and they were looking at her. Mm. They were looking at her. They let her told her that, sorry, the person is not dead. Though. It's not dead. You're under arrest. <laughs> you know? So, ah. and, and she's still begging her, you know, I love you. They are trying to set me up. You know, I love you. I was like, who tried to set you up? Foolish, foolish people. That's it. That's no, what it's crazy, man. Yeah, going out there to it's try crazy. to kill somebody. So the last one I'll read. Is, yeah. This one is funny. This one is just funny. I used to work at Subway, and um, older people got twenty percent discounts. This old lady in her forties was just being rude, telling me to toss more lettuce and put in too much mayo, and put more, put this, put that. She was just giving me attitude and being rude. So when she cashed out, uh, when she when I cashed out, I said in a really happy manner, oh, you get an old person's discount. She looked me up and down <laughs> and she she gave out to me and I got and I, and I and I just said and I got very I was very happy inside watching her die a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> this is where I'm going to tell you about something that I don't want to uh, my sister, I don't my sister, I don't know my sister watching my podcast and all <laughs> she does. So my sister, my sister, when my mom used to cook, my sister pissed me off here. Yeah. You know what I always used to do? I think that should get me back. So when there's food, I will always make sure I eat enough. I'll eat, I won't eat it all. Like when they say it's getting to the end, I know she's eating I'm eating. I will make sure I just leave a little bit. Yeah. And I'll make sure that whatever I do, that if say let's say for example, rice and stew used to be yeah. what I used to do. I'll make sure I take chicken. I'll leave a little bit of rice, but I'll leave the stew there. And I'll just leave tiny rice. So then she'll be like, oh, I think I ate it all. I goes, no, I left rice there for you and I left stew there stew for there you. you. Don't come on. That's why I used to, I always used to make sure I'll do that because you know what it was, yeah? And the way I had to think, I was whenever you use something, I have to wash it, finish. So that she wash it, finish. That's what I used to do. That's what I used to do. <laughs> ah, no, Jerry. I said, that, that, that thing was pay what I do. I stopped doing it now, but now nah, that one. Well, that, everybody, you know, every, yeah, and there, you know. But, um, yeah, and there's. Jerry, have you been seeing what a certain Didi has been doing? Hey, my brother, <laughs> that's insane. Yeah. I saw, I saw the, I saw the video clip. These guys, I th- but I keep asking myself, how can you be this that rich, good looking? You know, 
you are a celebrity. I did, I'm not, but people can correct me if I'm wrong. Diddy's an old person. No Diddy or anything, but it's not like he's an ugly person. Like It's, it's not an ugly person. <laughs> it's a rich dude. Yeah. You know, he's a very good musician. He's a, he's a, he's a manager. Uh-huh. He's a producer. It's everything. He's a record label CEO. That's true. You understand? With all that fame, popularity, and wealth, why do you still need to act like an animal? You can have any woman of your choice. Uh-huh. If you say oh, I want a light skinned woman, I want it that you can. Well, yeah, that's, when I was speaking to the guys yesterday, that's what I was saying. I was like, why a person oh, of your God. power? You can have I we can have any woman you want in the <laughs> world. And you decide and to And you decide to do that to a person. That. You see, sometimes I feel after all this we don't smoke, they are both finished, don't smoke rubbish. After they finish smoking shy, they can't even control themselves. They'll start acting abnormally. For me, that's not normal behavior. Mm. That what, what I saw there's not normal behavior. He just did, that, that person seems like he's not even a normal person in the first it's, place. It's, it's not normal. That's not nice. Well, I don't understand what's up with all those like, you know. Oh. And you say yourself, you have this. I remember you saying you always say people won't know what it's like. You know, I don't know how you say it again, but it's like when you, you see you have the money, you will know. We, there's a way we put it yeah. in my code. We say, "Na person way no deals, now they beat police mm. indirectly." Is the person that is not at home that when he comes back home and they said the police came here to check for something, he said, yeah. What right does the police have? Why must the police? It's because you are not at home, that's why you are bragging. Yeah, if you are there, so see why is that for you to judge anybody? Do not judge anybody because you are not in their shoes. You see, me and you might be saying, No, oh, with all those words, oh, why will I be behaving like that? Mm-hmm. Can you control the power of money? <sighs> Mm-hmm. Can 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 you can you control your power? You know, can you undo power? It's 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 not an easy thing, no. Really it's true. not an easy thing. Okay. When if the way you are, if you feel you can get away with anything, if you feel mm-hmm. that you can get away with anything, you want to test it. You want to see. 100%. And if you test it, wow, it worked. You will start misbehaving. You start. Using your power for negative things, no, because you're right. you know. So I don't judge, and I won't say, oh, "Oh, oh, see, I can't say, I cannot say." You understand? But everybody should try. That's why you need professionals around you. You need a counselor. But these people you, have it all. Like I don't you know, understand. I just feel like this is how some of them are just. Yeah, that's thinking. why I say yeah. That's why because they 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 are not trying to help themselves. They are you. not trying to say, "Okay, I need a professional to talk me out of." Let me tell you, there's a sport. I don't know if it's an American football or one sport. There's a person, an employee that is hired to stand near the coach in case the coach want to get angry at people. That person's duty is to hold the coach back. Wait, what? <laughs> it's to hold the coach back. It's to try to calm the coach down. That's interesting. I don't know. <laughs> you don't know? Check it out. I think it's whether American football or one sport mm. out there. There's, that person's job is to make sure the coach doesn't go out of line. Is to make sure it holds the call. It's okay, it's okay, like come down. need that in the Premier League more. You know, so, so <laughs> when you have money that you can afford good nutritionists or dietitian or what do you call mm-hmm. it, people that can help you pick your food, people that can show you how to gym, you still need people that you can talk to that see the way I'm feeling now, you know, that can tell you, well, I think this is not a normal behavior. Yeah. The way you are, you know, it's not like me and you that... The little money I have to eat, mm. is it the money I use to go and pay for for a counselor? Mm. You know, but those people, they have it at their beck and call. They have it. They have she the be, money to them. Not the woman. It's it's not you see that woman that he was beating was the same woman that sued him for like 30 million. Yeah. Wanted nah. to take him to court 24 hours. No court case, no nothing. He said to that. Yeah, nah, and, and that one, uh, um, st- statutes of limitation, nah, I don't think because of that, they can persecute him. Um, Diddy. Diddy, because of statue of limitation, it has gone. The length of time has gone. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> so they can't. It's a set. I think it's a set of well, That guy already, already. That's one out of how many things oh, I still no, get in trouble for. That one is a funny he'll be, guy. He will be rapping while Arukel is singing in the prison very soon. He'll <laughs> <laughs> be joining them. One, two, two silly people. <laughs> <laughs> two twats. I know. Ah, you just, you know, you just the both of them are bollocks of a yoke. That's the two of them. Cunt of a yoke, the two of them. You know? I don't know. It's crazy, man. I 
I, it's crazy. I just, but power, be the way, power. They say it can intoxicate, and that's true. That's why. That's, that's true. Because that's saying they say they say with oh. great power comes great responsibility. Yeah. And I don't think that's what they understand. Like yeah. when these people have this type of money, and like they're doing what they're doing. It's like, you're meant to be an example to the people around you. Mm. And you're making people think that it's okay for rich people to do this because they'll get away with it. Yeah. Look how long the other Mr. Kelly got away with it. Look how, look at this one, how long you've been getting the away world, with it. The world, you see, <sighs> the, the world, the, the world is corrupt. The world, the entire world. Well, but at the end of the day, I think I said it to you before. Unfortunately, in the life we live in, there has to be a bit of corruption for the world to make work. Oh. It that's how it is. That has to be a bit of corruption. There have to be a balance of good and evil. So, <coughs> so it is what it is. Everybody just needs to be careful. You know, it's crazy. So, it's so crazy. It's so crazy. No, it, it is a crazy yeah. world we live in. But um, I can remember when my some women are very strong. I can remember my friend back in those days was trying to going to fight a girl. The girl beat the shit out of my friend that time. Then. Anytime we see the girl coming back when we're in school, if she's coming this way, everybody, all the guys everybody is going this way. That way. <laughs> now schools, I like I'm, that's my thing for you. How like how was I never I told you that how was like primary and secondary school in Nigeria compared to like what yeah. you see around here? It all depends. Now you know, like would there be private primary schools? There's private, school? there's public. Like for majority of majority of us that mm-hmm. that are not privileged enough. To come from a wealthy family you understand not yeah. that my family is not down 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 no. but just as my father would say <clears throat> all fingers are not equal but ours is not the shortest Oof. so in as much as they are rich rich and they are poor, poor we are not the pope we are kind of yeah. there you understand so we went to public school yeah. and um, yes it's normal but you know the the amount of people in class it's way more and uh, like how many would be in a typical class ah uh, you can get up to 60 70 like i think i think like 80. When, i think like to get here it's probably like 20 20 max oh uh, no this one you get when when i went to university to i'm telling you when i got to mm-hmm. when i was doing my bsc back home in nigeria in a class i can remember the first class we wanted to start uh start 101 hmm. Over two thousand, or before to f- over f- no, we film five thousand capacity over in a f- class over five thousand. We call it a twin lecture theater. Five thousand capacity. That's, that's not like a stadium. No. That's what I'm telling you. We call it. We call it back then in Ekpoma. That's a stadium. That's not a class. New lecture theater. Five thousand, and it will be filled to the brim. People standing. People standing outside. And funny enough, funny enough, the lecturer is not using any mic mic or sound appliances so the f- so in the first two lines in front those are the people in class the last people they can't hear anything so we keep on throwing papers and throwing stuff and you know that's how that's how some of the schools back home in my country now like you went you to know? college in ireland i say when you I yeah so when I, I, when I now saw the difference yeah. i was like oh my god <laughs> this is totally different yeah. you know it's it's really different <clears throat> it's really you you can't compare you can't compare but based on the amount of money i paid yeah. for a master's degree if i pay that in a school too mm-hmm. in nigeria i think i'll get something better something not equivalent but it will be better it will be better you can't yeah. compare that it will be better it, you understand you know you know it's funny like i was saying to you i was only was I, I think i was the only black person in my secondary school so it's so funny like because Obviously, I never really, I never really went to school in Nigeria, but I came here when I was really young. Yeah. But um, it's so funny. Like I was the only black person in my primary school, in my secondary school, there was barely any black people. Like I don't think people realize, you know, like the trend. Like when we were like, when, like obviously I'm not like not old, but like when yeah. I was back in school, like there was barely any black people in my school. Yeah. And I say, like, I can, I can name all the black people that were in my school, like, on my, like, nearly on my hands, like, not my, like, I'd probably be able to name, like, it was crazy. And then I'm now I'm seeing like so many more. Yeah. And I'm yeah. like, you guys don't understand, like, when nah. we and I went to school, like, there was like yeah, a I person, I'm like, I can't understand. you know, the thing as well, like, I think what was so interesting was like, 
obviously we were kids and I, I can't I don't know people the people who can agree or disagree with me I feel like they were racist but they didn't realize they were being racist because they were just being over curious you know asking silly questions and the thing I think that annoys everybody is can I touch your hair can I do this can I do that no, but if the young ones you know those those kids uh, mm. they, that's out of curiosity mm. I don't think no no I wouldn't say it's someone that has a grown up person that knows what's you know but what is right from wrong. Do you? But now this is another thing. Do you not yeah. think then though? Still, I said the young, like obviously I don't know back mm. then, which we're talking about two thousand and fourteen. When I was talking to, we're talking about two thousand seven, two thousand six. Like you get some of them that'll be saying nigger and this and that. Do you not think like some of them? Would you not? And I would come to the assumption, but I know that I get like some of them knew what they were saying because that's a derogatory. No. Not it's, something to be said you, to. I, I, I wouldn't say all of them understand what, mm. what it means. I wouldn't say that because you're talking about how old? 2007, 2007. 10 what? years. 12 was when I went into secondary school. So, so. you're talking about 8, 10. 8, 10, 8, 10 yeah. So it's, it's uh, you know, what do you expect mm. a 10-year-old to understand? You know, except, except someone explain thoroughly. Mm-hmm. Thorough explanation, not that suffix explain you know for example you ask a child now say you're asking a white child now as a white mother i say how will you feel if i just walk up to you and say oh can i touch your hair someone you don't know would you how will you take that i'm talking about even a fellow that happened to me before <laughs> yeah rather you know then you are not then you think it's nice to walk up to a black person and say can i touch your hair like, have you ever had that experience uh, no. I've had it before when I was in work. <laughs> I told them, well, to me, it was a bit of a like I didn't take it serious, but they were not happy in work when they heard this. Obviously, we're at them. Yeah. obviously, I went to do something in work and I had to meet a customer and yeah. X, Y, and Z. Customer goes to me, just start being very yeah. uncomfortable. Just as like talking, it's like, oh, you know, I see, and I, you know what it is, is the way they talk sometimes. Like, <laughs> I know I'm friends with a lot of black people. <laughs> I'm like, okay, <laughs> where is this going? You know, when I say, you know, I know a few black people, and I'm like, okay, where okay, is this what's, going? What's, what's, what, what do you want now? Like, do you know they have the type of hair you do? And I was like, oh, uh, nice, okay, yeah, yeah, know? nice. Yeah, yeah. I, and then she goes, she didn't ask, uh, can I touch it to? She just went like this when I was driving. Ah, yeah, yeah, I just like, I was like, I prayed to God, I was like, oh, please. <laughs> I was like, oh no, Ru, please. Let this woman not touch me. Yo. That's how for now I put my hand and push her away. You assaulted me, yo. Yes. Sir. I was just like, I was just like, look, it's only 20 minutes drive back to where you want to go. Just keep on my show. Yes. But that's why I really love. I always always I always I don't really ever say ah, I love. But I always love where I work because those people, you tell them something like that, they can go, they will go yeah. extra mile for you to No, make yo, sure no, no. Me to where I work too. Same thing. But um Me to where I work. See. And, oh, man. That's it. It's good. It's good. Well, what what did you see about the the, the the sunny weather? What did you do? Because in Ireland, the sunny weather. Yeah. What's the fake sun. Oh. This fake sun that comes out for one minute and comes out. For one Let me tell you. The I moment we saw the sun last week Sunday. Uh, uh, ah, my wife was like, "We are stand up. Let's go outside. Outside, outside, outside. Sun is here. Yeah, sun is here." Yeah, we <laughs> yeah, were talking about even getting barbecue. <laughs> Jerry, 20, 20, 36 hours no later. <laughs> I wanted to go to B and Q to buy barbecue. Ask me what? I don't see cloud. Yes. I said the same way the cloud is going, the same way the door is going to close. I said fake sun. I went to play football today. This no sun, no no nothing. And I said to people, watch the break in the clouds will come and sun will just come out. Sorry, it went like from. 15 degrees to 22 degrees in the space of five minutes. Yeah, and I bought, but last week, last week Sunday was class. It was sunny all through oh. because I was. At Pedlas. Saturday was yeah, this no, was well. even Sunday. Mm. Sunday, it was Sunday. I was at Pedlas. I was there. That's where I watched Arsenal. Um, um Arsenal Man U. Man, yeah. Yeah, that's where I watched it. It's on Sunday, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah Pedlas. That's where, so it was sunny. It was it was I can see the way. Oh yeah, let's go, let's go. There's sun outside. <laughs> <laughs> You know that kind of thing I see. I, yeah. I love Irish people when the sun comes. It's like when the sun comes, everybody just is like 20, 30% happier. It's like, oh, the weather's lovely out today. Yeah, like, yes, it's it lovely is. out. Oh, oh the to sun work. hopefully stays here for a while. Oh, uh, yeah, someone says, there because it's the when the sun comes to Ireland, it just comes out of nowhere. It doesn't even come with warning. Well, we it, love, 
We love this song because that's time for some good <laughs> copper bag with ice, no strawberry, you know, awesome good. That's true. So every have any to drink, the sun is out. Come on, let's go. The mm. sun is down. Let's drink again. <laughs> oh, the, nah, the know. sun. I love I love the thing is that I just love everybody's mood when the sun comes out. Oh, I, I everybody's like just in a happy mood. I love my own mood too. I've never ever thought <laughs> one day in my life that <laughs> <laughs> I will see sun and I will be happy. You know what? It is? Yeah, we've been here because we've been living in we've been living in for a while now. So probably we're just like we're so used to the cold that oh. when the sun when rain and cold when the sun. We mean that I was born inside sun, sun, sun. We use sun to do yeah yeah in Nigeria. We take sun for granted. Nah, isn't it funny? As well? I'm begging, I'm begging, <laughs> but I need sun. <laughs> isn't it funny as well? It's just funny what you said. That like in life, sometimes we take these little things for granted. Yeah, and. <laughs> people yeah. don't realize even like little things like the sun yeah. like you said people like Nigeria people you know, people don't realize uh, the sources. you come to Europe people are like what come to you I say first of all you deal with the weather you think, yeah, you think you the weather is easy to deal with, to deal with. You, you, better if you want to come here you should come here when you are young so that the cold can be embedded into your skin yeah, it's so funny like even me when I go to Portugal oh yeah 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 it was warm. I'll be sweating like a bucket yeah you know one day I went to Portugal I'll tell you for this I went to Portugal have you ever been to Portugal before? Yeah, no, no, no. I've been to Spain. You need to go to Portugal. Yeah. You need to go to Portugal. I'm going to Faro in next month. Faro Island. Yeah, Faro. I don't I think there's a, something like Faro, but this one is just Faro. It's Faro, just a no place island, in Portugal. Yeah. And um, I don't drink. I don't I'm not a heavy drinker. And um when you go out to nightclubs, the drinks are watered down a lot. Yeah. And I just when you go to restaurants, nah, they're not watered down. I don't know, maybe they even inject alcohol in. So we all got this drink. I don't know, you probably drank before Sangria. Sangria. Yeah. But the Sangria in Portugal, this one, I was it's obviously me. I just I was, I was just drinking. You're just swallowing. Out. And then there's like, you know, there's wine in that. And I was like, yeah. This wine is like, yeah. Very. I stood up. <laughs> <laughs> my head was spinning. I mean, I don't drink. Jerry, if I drink, I can even count it off my hand. Probably like two or four. Yeah. But this this one I said in my life, I'm never drinking this drink again. Me. I remember <laughs> this thing you said now maybe remember the one day that I was so drunk back home in Nigeria so I was so drunk I was piece of my head came in the room and I can the bed I'm supposed to sleep was small like the single yeah. bed but when I came into the room because of my the level of alcohol in, system. alcohol in my system I saw the bed like a mighty king size and I was so happy, I decided to die face face on my bed. <laughs> As I died like this. <laughs> my face on the floor. Boom! These eyes. Look. Some of the some of the some of the pint of Guinness disappeared instantly. Because I badged my face on black eyes. Your, your bed save you. That's which bed save me. I said on the floor, my face bow on the floor. And I stood up. That's when I saw that the bed was small. It's not as big. Oh no. God. I I will never forget that that day. That's how one of my friends too. If we drink, we escort everybody as we're walking home, mm. like five, six of us. Anybody that will get to his his place first, you go in, the rest people continue their journey. Going dress because it's a journey. Ah, if you're last, it's a problem. <laughs> we now came the next day morning after we've woken up because mm -hmm. how we cure hangover is drink again. Yeah, that's how you cure hangover <laughs> back in my country. <laughs> so if you wake, if Don't you are hangover, this. <laughs> if you are hangover, you now take, you wake up in the morning, you knock another, if it's a can of Guinness, a can of copper, anything you have, just. That minus times minus will just give you plus there. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Una, Una went to this to look for this my friend. They said it's not, it not come home. We said, what do you mean it's not come home? We, you dropped him in the house. We, we left him at the door there. Yeah, he went into the company, you no, know, back in days yeah. where we live in. There are like 10, ro 10 rooms in one company. Mm -hmm. Everybody has their room. Well, where, where's one? They called us. They said, come home. He's sleeping in the chicken. <laughs> in the chicken or in the house of chicken. Ah. 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 That's when we fell in, fell in. That's when you oh, oh. All the chicken were busy 
outside standing looking at him like this. <laughs> That's what. Ah, ah. Drink. drink. Hey, drink. Oh, it's, 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 mad. It's, it's, it's mad. It's mad. It's mad. It's funny. Yeah. So I, funny, funny, tell funny, you, funny. I tell you, I have to get braces. Yeah. Yeah. I told you yesterday. Um, I don't remember. Did I ever tell you I broke my jaw playing yeah, football? Yeah, no, I played football. And, yeah, um, I remember. My mouth healed properly, but the way my teeth, whatever happened, whatever, how my jaw healed, it caused my mouth to do whatever way. Okay, so you need braces. I need braces to fix the top half of my Is that not expensive? <laughs> yeah. It's money. expensive. Oh, oh, it is money. Uh, it's money. Oh. But, um, yeah. So I have to sort that out this year. Well, um, if you work with a company that has health insurance, they can pay part of it, though. Yeah, I think so. I don't know. I think I've got to have Yeah, I have to have because if it's my company, they will pay 50%. Really? Yeah, of my dental treatment and everything. Yeah, I think that because it's not private, I don't know. We'll have to see anyway because I have to go yeah, back to them. Because I have, my company have health insurance for, for us now. So, and it's, it's the 4, 4D something, something. So it's it's expensive, not yours. So, so it's okay. It's not bad. Ah, it's not bad, but life goes on. You know what? I don't know if you've seen with the other boys. Um, when I was recording the yeah. people, I, people were, you know, I I don't get people sometimes. I find people funny. <laughs> Even sometimes, well, you remember when we dropped the TikTok to do it? Um, we've dropped some vibe. Some of the TikToks we've dropped, I know people have hated us. Remember the one to do with them? Um, what is it? I've met beautiful Irish people. Uh, and they are, they are talking, they comment. Is it not funny that you said, I've met beautiful Irish uh, people? And the first they want to be doing is commenting rubbish. Uh, Get out of. I'm like, I'm uh, like, people. I'm like, I, I said, I spent, I said, I sat down and I said, you people will say people are doing podcasts, people are doing this and that. Would you rather me be on the street fighting people? Or I, don't people? I don't know. I don't know. I'm in my house know. with somebody. We're yeah, just talking we're just and gisting. Yes, fair enough. I'm not a stupid person. I have to market things. I have to take clips and certain things to cause people to talk or something. But the way people will be saying something, I'm like, you will say people are, do, I, people see, are doing People are doing that. See, maybe my brother, you have to be strong. Oh yeah, yeah, with what with what social media is doing that social media has forced a lot of people into depression. So many people into committing suicide mm. because of comments, because of what people say on that people's video stuff like that. It happens. It can mm. happen if you are not strong enough. You will just be thinking of oh, yeah, no, fuck 100%. You. I, but not someone like us now. Not our skin is so thick. I I, I, I deal this with skin it is easy, thick, you know, but it's just like. I look at it and I just think that like... Oh, what do you expect? Like, I just... I know, I just think to myself, it's like, you people will say this, but if you don't like it, don't comment on it. And don't even watch. Don't, don't comment. Watch just it. go now. Just, just go. Because I always tell people, you know how this thing works. Okay, life is... This is how... I said, it's very simple. These people work off engagement. If you people are engaging with things, whether it's negative or positive, the thing will look at it and say, somebody is engaging. Let me show more people. Yeah. If you people don't like something, don't, don't just don't let someone live that day and live that life. Ah, it's oh, every day you have to speak. We've seen it. We've, we've seen it. You know, we have bitter people out there. Now. Yeah. There are bitter people. There are people that are just angry and they are trying to see where they will just pour their frustration on. Yeah. You understand? You know, so but if, sometimes, you, know, you, if you are the minority, I feel, sorry, I feel you, sorry so. for people. Like I wish, I wish people would speak up more about when they're going through stuff and when people are annoying them. You know, because yeah. you're right. People, there's a lot of people out there who I do believe yeah. want to speak out their frustrations, but it's just about how to do it to yeah. their friends. Because you know, it's just one of the things I hate. I hate this thing that happens like, when people are kind of like, um, "Oh, you can always come to talk to me" and all this. And people like it's like, but are you making yourself approachable to even be talked to in the first place? You know. You know, we've talked about something like this before. Before I want to tell you what I'm feeling, mm. I, I have to know if you yourself first can handle it, or do you have the hmm. the, the experience, the professionalism to be able to dissect what I'm trying to tell you, understand, be in my shoes. You know, it's not about coming to tell. That's why there are counselors out there. Those mm -hmm. are professionals. Yeah, yeah. It's not every time they can marry her, you can just walk go to with your problem, just walk to them and start telling them your problem. Some people will mock you. Some people even make your problem worse. Yeah. 
You know, if you meet the wrong people, you seek advice in the wrong places. Yeah, true, true. true. <laughs> you are in trouble. You are fucked, my brother. <sighs> you understand? So that's why I've seen it, but I've, I've seen some comment, people comment on that people's video. Yeah. Sometimes I'll be like, oh my God. Yeah, like you know, this is not nice. You know, it, ju it, it just only take one button for some people to just so switch off and just say, well, you know, there are people that that, that says, I'm, I'm working to commit suicide, I'm going to commit suicide, and I'm walking to the river. But if I see anybody that look at me and ask me what, what my problem is, mm -hmm. I might rethink. And you see someone just walk, walk, and nobody gives a fuck, and they just... Well, nobody. You see, the world doesn't do care. You know, do you know that's why I do, I think when people say one another, I, that's why I appreciate this country a lot. And like, you know, in the sense of like, yeah, there's, you know, there's the far right there. There's the people who say what they want to say. It's but in this island country, I think it's we sometimes take for granted like how nice there's genuinely people there. I've told you before. I've told you. I've been to a lot of places yeah. now. I've been to Paris. I've been to Amsterdam. I've been I, to UK. I'm telling you, this country it's honestly one of the best. For, you see, it's for it's, they are beautiful. Like you say it again, beautiful, wonderful people yeah. here in this country. You like, know, yeah, <clears throat> their banter mm -hmm. can be kind of it be too much now, be too much, <laughs> but not 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 to a Nigerian, yeah, because yeah. we 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 banter ourselves. Oh yeah, be, we Nigerians we curse ourselves. We we take a piece out of ourselves before I even insult you. I will yeah. first of all tell you, I'm short, I'm black, I'm bald, I'm bald head. <laughs> So now, before I now start, and yeah. we tell you, we say, we use that word. Before I start entering you, I will enter myself first. Yeah. When I finish entering myself, then I will not enter you. So let me see what you want to tell me mm -hmm. that I've not told myself. That's very true. You know, Nigerians, just like Irish people, Irish people say, oh, you want to, you want to cause an Irish man. You want to insult an Irish man. Everything is banter. Irish person will just look at you and yeah. laugh. Me, I, you know? that's the thing. Like, I just look at it and I just, I just like, you know, people, is, like, I've gone to different countries, like Portugal, everybody's really nice there too. But, like, even when I went to the UK, I went to Paris, everybody's just stuck up, stuck up their ass, they're walking yeah. around. Yeah. Like, here you get, yeah, there's people like that, but everybody's genuinely nice. Like, yeah, no, that's people need to realize, they all say Irish people. I'm like, yeah, there's racist Irish people there. I don't care. Like, I genuinely don't care. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. Brother, it's everywhere. Like, I'm like it's maybe everywhere. it's me personally. I have never, I've had, I've never had a terrible experience with no. that person. If anything, everybody was nice. My neighbors were, well, yeah. my houses, they were nice. Yeah. All my, everywhere I've been, like most of the white people like I've met are nice. Maybe not when I was in school, but some of the, not the white people, the teachers. Oh, they gave me a headache, but let me not talk about them. Those people, those teachers, <laughs> they gave me a headache. But <laughs> my neighbors, my neighbors, like, you know, you're walking on the street and someone just, says oh how are you today i'm good look you know i love that one it's like when i'm in, i was in the shop today then someone just goes to me then then say them they're like oh the weather's lovely out there isn't it and that's our first one that's uh, where you that's that's like, like, oh, the weather is lovely the weather the weather is good out there what do you think, think oh my god <laughs> and you know there's sometimes, there's sometimes you know what it is sometimes it even shocks me i was like you shouldn't just have a conversation with me just you don't know me you just want to yeah, see how my day that, is that, and everything that's, but i go to that's i go to another country now no. someone will look at me Oh, uh, look, at, uh, look at this black monk, monk I, I love I, I love the banter here. Yeah. Yeah. I love the banter here. I, 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 I like I like it here. No I'm problem. telling you. I really do. I too. like it here. I don't care yeah. about those one or two people out there. Yeah, we have them. But There's fire right people everywhere, but, man. Should be like I'm not look, I'm not trying to complain. Should be yeah. there's not even fire right people in Nigeria. Oh <laughs> yeah. whole country, everywhere. everybody's the same color. There's fire right people. I'm telling you, it's so, everywhere. So it's, look, you always find them everywhere. If you like, go to mass where there's nobody. You'll find or them somebody. there. It's there. It's everywhere. It's My everywhere. thing for people for you this know? week is just enjoy your life. Ah, chop life. Chop life. Mind your life business. Chop you. <laughs> Mind your business. Drink your Copperberg. Drink your drink your, your wine. drink your Guinness. Drink your Guinness. <laughs> drink your Copperberg. Drink your glass of red wine or white wine, and enjoy life. Yeah, well, yeah. Guys, look, yeah. it's been good. I hope you enjoyed this episode because I really did. Something <laughs> different. Something funny, and I really. And let's let us know what you think in the comments. Yeah. So, Jerry. Yeah. Good to see you. Good again, to see you people yeah, again. Yeah, and we'll yeah. be back on your screen. We'll be back more again. And more. Yeah, more and more because we have. <laughs> yeah, <so. laughs> if you are buying the house in the country. Because how many times have I heard so, someone said to me? Someone said to me. Ah, I nearly, it's nearly like they take an arm and a leg off you when you want to buy a house. I'm like. 
huh? Yeah. I was like, mine, mine wasn't too bad because let's ask me those people that that we bought that first house from. Mm. Let's ask me they have a way to go. Yeah, this would have been done and dusted. And mm. funny enough, I black come. Let us know what's in the comments. <laughs>